When humanity entered the scene over a century ago, they quickly found out that to catch up to the galactic powers that encircled them, they would have to expand their industrial capacity exponentially. Their chosen path to galactic relevancy was consumer goods. It was just so much cheaper to pay humans to do the labor than to fund massive robotic plants to pump out cheap goods. So it began the rise of the toy makers. Humanity produced many things. However, their greatest gains in manufacturing was fueled by something simple. Humans were by far the most creative species in the galaxy. They funneled this creativity into new and complex toys for the children of other species. For a time, it was good. Humanity saw massive growth in population, wealth, and standard of living. Humanity achieved new heights in unity. With all the capital flowing around, there was nothing to fight over. This lasted until one of their neighbors, a particularly aggressive species, decided that the Union of Soul would be a valuable addition to its Imperium. Most of us expected human production to halt for a time, while they were integrated into the larger, more powerful empire. Then production would resume, under new management. That didn't happen. Humanity decided to embrace the sword, rather than the pen. The idea was insane. Humanity possessed only a small fleet, capable of defending its merchant vessels from pirates. Nothing that could stand up to a galactic power. We all expected humanity to be dragged under, in a matter of months. Humanity's consumer manufacturing stopped immediately. All business contracts were cancelled. All factories seemed to shutter their doors from afar. We had no way of knowing what was happening, due to the distance between us. So we sent an emissary vessel to, to use a human expression, eyeball the situation. I was on that vessel. Upon entering human space, we were met with a warning probe. It squawked the following message. Warning. You are entering an active war zone. Safety cannot be assured beyond this point. We cloaked our vessel and continued onto humanity's cradle. Soul had seen better days. We saw obvious debris from battles in the outer system. As we made our way closer to Earth, we saw a sight that shocked us to our core. Former consumer goods factories pumping out warships. Factories that previously made luxury liners, luxury hover cars, and all manner of opulent goods, all producing war material. We arrived at our toy manufacturer. This business had the highest quality toys only a year ago. When we docked, we were met with a representative of the board of directors. He greeted us and offered us a tour of the facility. Too shocked by what we saw on our way in, we agreed almost on autopilot. As he led us through the factory floor, we saw all kinds of weapons being made. When he saw our faces and likely shocked expressions, he gave us our answer. Humanity practiced a philosophy of total war. When a human existence is threatened, everything else becomes irrelevant. In the middle of the factory, there was a large display. It had hundreds, if not thousands, of stars on it. When I questioned the representative, he responded with a smile. Each star represents a vessel, destroyed by weapons produced in this factory. The rest of the trip was a blur. Honestly, we just wanted to escape the species, seemingly consumed by rage and war. Before we left, he told me something that will stick with me in all my dealings with humans. Humans are a wonderful, kind, and creative species. But take away their creature comforts, endanger their lives over an extended period of time. Those same wonderful, kind, and thoughtful people will turn into the most vicious, heartless monsters. Humanity went on to win the war. The galaxy now knows to beware the toy makers. The author's name and the link to original text is in the description. Consider tapping the thumbs up and pressing the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video.